Welcome back, guys. Long time, I know. Let's get to it. Uh, first of all, awesome 2K subs. Never really thought the channel would grow this far, so that's really cool. Appreciate that. And, you know, it's fun interacting with you guys, answering questions. I always try to respond to the comments. There's a couple things going on, so I haven't really done much with the room in a while. Um, last big upgrade was the projector, which, for the money, has been awesome. Um, but I've been torn on something. Ever since I upgraded to the very immersive, basically full wall 16 by 9 screen. It's, uh, it's about 156 inches, uh, 16 by 9. Part of me always wondered, you know, was the image quality better with the old 60 inch tall screen material from Spandex World? Because that's mostly Spandex and this stuff is mostly polyester. So recently I switched back. I know, switch, 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 switch. Uh, I've lost track, but I switched back. That's the beauty of DIY. It didn't didn't take very long you just make some cuts and re, you know take the fabric off put the new stuff back on and it was like a hundred bucks so it's worth the trial and error anyway I actually wasn't digging it um, as far as quality I think the polyester material actually looks better I have no idea why I'll just you know fine I'm okay with it I have both I don't care which one looks better it's just about perception right so my vote goes towards the tall material but one thing I did play with when I had the scope screen back was I played with a lens memory, which I did not have the last time I ran a scope screen down here. I had the 2150 Epson, and I just left it in scope all the time. But with the, you know, when I had the scope screen for a few days recently, it was cool that you could shrink the 16 by 9 content down to fill the height of the scope screen, which is referred to as constant image height, which I know plenty of you guys do. It's really cool. Um, so you get it up in... Down here, you get a very palatable 16 by 9 size. So on a roughly 147 inch scope screen, the 16 by 9 is like 116 inches or something along those lines. And for most content, that's the sweet spot. I mean, I'm only 13 feet away, you know, watching TV shows and stuff, which I predominantly do upstairs in the living room. But if you want to watch that stuff down here, doing it at 100, nearly 160 inches from the seating distance was too much. Um, for the right content, though, you know, for a movie like Joker or a Hans Zimmer live in Prague, you know, musical performance or David Attenborough documentaries, there is definitely uh, a reason to want or to have a screen that is hyper immersive, right? I think that's the best way to describe it. But at the same time, a lot of older movies are shot in 16 by 9, right? Um, and a lot of TV content. And most of it's just not enjoyable to watch at that size. So... I don't want to settle. I, I don't settle, right? I want it all. Um, so I'm getting it all. I switched back to the full wall 16 by 9 screen. So it's about 100 and, uh, almost 160 inches. And I have the top and bottom masking panels to give me the same, you know, 147 inch scope screen. But I also wanted to make the image palatable for the 16 by 9 and 4 by 3 content down here is if it was the constant image height setup that I was just running and obviously I could do that but I don't like gray bars no 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 I really like my inky velvet black inky bars so little project I'm working on to show you guys I'm about half done check this out so we'll go back in the room okay so right now there's the full screen and the phone really doesn't like to zoom in on this because all the velvet, but, or focus rather. The left side, there is no masking panel. On the right side, there is. Huh. Let's go take a look. Excuse the mess on the floor. Well, before I touch it, um, all it is, just like the bottom panel and the top panel that are in place, it's literally just one by three pine boards that we ripped in half on a table saw. So it's about half the thickness. I picked up these um, 36 inch, uh, what are they like? I forget the dimensions on this, but very thin aluminum that I could cut with a miter saw. And with drill bits, you just, I couldn't find brackets that were long enough, basically. Like this panel is about 18 inches wide. That's the width of the left, uh, the gray bar on the screen, essentially. The right should be a mirrored copy, but it's off by like a half inch. Oh well. But the right's done. There are three door hinges attached to the wall into a stud, 
And I haven't quite finalized the, you know, making this perfect, perfect, where it all just kind of blends together, but it's really close. So all I have to do is pull this back, and I'm going to have either um, neodymium magnets or some kind of latch or something to hold that in place. But now if we go back and look... Mind you, with the lights on, you can notice the panel. With the lights off, you can't see it. Um, and I'll make sure the hinges are, you know, have some velvet over them. But now you're back to a 239 scope screen. That's as big as it can be. And when I feel like it, up here, I think I may have shown you guys this. There are, it's very hard to see. The camera does not want to focus on this, but there is a latch on the ceiling of plywood wrapped in velvet, swivels. And I can literally lift up this panel. Swivel. Swivel. Go back. And you can see there's the top panel is now not, not in front of the screen any longer. Do the same for the bottom. I literally just pull it down. Now I would like to run back here. I'm going to run a piece of velvet. So once I have this exactly where I want it, I won't have to fiddle with this. But currently I can just nudge it under the screen. And if we look at this again, that is a full wall IMAX, IMAX-esque screen, uh, as big as it gets. So I don't want any compromise. And that's funny because that's IMAX's slogan, right? Never compromise. I think that's pretty funny. But yeah, that's what I'm up to, guys. Um, I was going to put this left piece on, but I, for I forgot to go to Lowe's or Home Depot and get some more door hinges. I thought I'd only need two per side, but that one really needed three to keep everything exactly where I wanted it. Um, but the lens memory is killer. So I, you know, I can have... Full 16.9, or use the panels, get the scope image with inky black top and bottom bars, or reduce the, you know, the zoom and get a much more palatable 16 by 9 size. I'm tempted to make 4 by 3 panels too, um, that would go in back of, they'd be the first against the wall, so you could do 16.9 or 4 by 3 now, yeah, I, I'm not stupid. The velvet does do something to the audio. Um, I couldn't tell, honestly. I just put a piece in front of the left-right speakers, and they're just effect speakers, right? They're not the dialogue. I couldn't really tell. So is it worth a slight reduction in audio to do what I'm doing? Yep, because now I have the best of all worlds. But uh, that's all I got for now, guys. Um, I've been wanting to do this for a while. I'm really happy with the screen now because I can have, you know, the best of everything. But if you have any questions, leave, you know, a comment. That's, that'd be awesome. And uh, I'll try to post some updates when this is finished. And I do have some other stuff planned for the room. Um, I attended a webinar last week for the JVC NZ9 projector. It's a bit expensive for, uh, for, for myself at price at 25000 But there is the mid-tier option, the NZ8, which I am seriously considering for down here to replace this guy. It's a great projector, guys. I mean, honestly, it was a massive upgrade from the 2150 that I ran, but um, the NZ model's approaching uh, basically infinite contrast. It's 4K native 8K e-shift, laser for 20,000 hours without any reduction in quality or, or lumen output. It's even the middle tier uh, projector is brighter than the Sepson, and you know, and, and it's quieter. There's a, there's a plethora of reasons to upgrade, and that's priced at 15,000, uh, minus the Obviously, the proceeds of the 6050 that I'd sell. But anyway, that's what I'm up to. Uh, until next time, guys. Take care.